Today's video is about visualization and specifically for people who are doing something in their life where they want to change a behavior or a thinking pattern or maybe even a belief around something. This is a really helpful tool um, for you to actually practice doing something without having to do it in the physical world. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Crystal Kostanovich and I'm a mental performance coach. I work predominantly with professional athletes and people in quite ambitious circles. Very, very fun for me to work with high achieving individuals. Um, and I'm just gonna share with you a tool that I use with my clients, that I explain to them so that they can use it to help them figure out the thing that they wanna do. So it's quite a funny story actually. I remember when I was a kid, when I used to drive in the car, if my dad was taking me to school, he would practice conversations in the car. He would visualize meetings. He would, and he would say his side, and then he would, you know, uh, think what the other person might say. And he started thinking of all their like um, uh, objections or any anything that was like in a negative space. So he had this whole conversation with someone, or he would replay a conversation from the past. Um, and I never quite understood why he did that until now I've become a mental performance coach and I understand. So the amazing thing about your brain is that it controls everything, but it's also wired for survival. So if, if you're doing something and there's any kind of negative emotion like fear or anxiety or stress or what being worried about being embarrassed or anything like that, your brain will automatically switch gear into survival and be like, we gotta do what we gotta do so that we survive here. And that can be like saving face, it can mean doing anything that you don't actually wanna do to move forward. So visualization gives us the opportunity to live an experience and our brain does not know that it's not real. It's only replaying what's happening according to our imagination as if it was real. That's why sometimes we start feeling emotions, we can feel in our bodies, uh, maybe we start like feeling anxious about things because we're thinking about something. Your body doesn't, your, your mind doesn't actually know when something is real or not real or if it's happening in real life. So visualization gives us like this practice, it gives us this rehearsal of, the, of this thing that we wanna do. But what's really important to understand about visualization is that you cannot control what the other people are going to do. So, for example, uh, with the sports people I work with, sometimes we'll use visualization from a mistake. So they make a mistake in their play and I say to them, okay, now visualize it as if you did it correctly, what would you have had to do? Would you have to, you know, would your shoulder have to be in a different position? Would your legs have to be in a different position? What, would you have to take in a deeper breath before you ran? What, what would have you needed in order to make that thing that you, that mistake that you made a, a success? And you can only use what you would do in that situation. You cannot have a magic thing of now this other person does this, this other person does that. That doesn't work because you are not in control of what other people are doing. You're only in control of what you're doing. So using vis visualization either from the past, so I've done this thing, it didn't go the way I wanted it to. So now I'm going to visualize what it would look like and feel like and sound like uh, if I had to do it correctly. So what would that look like? And you can visualize that. So what that does is it actually gives your brain evidence that you can do this thing. So that when you're in the position, when the adrenaline is pumping, or maybe there's something at stake, you are more prepared to do it because you've got the evidence that you've done it before, even though it was in your imagination. And it's a really great tool, it definitely works. It's just something that you have to work through over and over again. So if you don't have a mistake that you want to rectify and maybe you're thinking about something that's going to happen in the future, you want to visualize what it would look like and feel like and sound like for this thing to go the best way possible. So you give your brain the dress rehearsal of this thing that you're going to do. So obviously if it's dependent on other people and there's going to be other stakeholders and players in, the, in it, of course there's room for something to go wrong. But 
that doesn't necessarily matter because you can problem solve because you have the evidence that you could do it in your mind. So there's a little bit more confidence and self-esteem that you can actually problem solve and rectify whatever's going on in the moment. So I hope that that was helpful for you. If you have any questions about, about visualization, please let me know. I'd love to make a video that would be relevant for you. And if you have any questions about working with a mental performance coach, please contact me directly. Have a beautiful day.